Good happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Hillary Clinton surprises Canvassers in Manchester on Saturday. Hillary Clinton, the only Democratic candidate in New Hampshire on Saturday, made a surprise visit in Manchester after winter weather forced her to change her campaign trail. Pedestrian struck by vehicle dies. A pedestrian struck by a vehicle on Main Street in Laconia has died of his injuries. The driver is now facing a deep. UI charge. Improperly discarded ashes blame for house fire. Investigators say improperly discarded ashes from a wood stove likely led to a second alarm house fire that displayed a man. SUV crashes into mobile home while residents asleep. A driver was arrested after crashing into a mobile home early Saturday morning in Easton, police said. Blizzard caused travel headaches, grounds 20 flights in Manchester. Thousands of U.S. flights were canceled Saturday, including more than a dozen in Manchester after a snowstorm slammed the eastern sea border and caused ripple effects across the country. Rare for New Hampshire seen near Portsmouth. A black vulture was seen from International Drive at the Pease Trade Port in Newington on January 13th. Major winter storm may bring flurries to southeastern New Hampshire. New Hampshire is missing out on a major winter storm slamming the East Coast this weekend. Clinton, Sanders, Trump are targets at packed NH GOP First in the Nation Town Hall. Just more than two weeks before the Granite Staters go to the polls on primary day, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Donald Trump were the primary target Saturday of seven Republican presidential candidates who made closing arguments to about 1,000 activists at the state's GOP's First in the Nation Town Hall. Update. Republicans say Bloomberg run would hurt Democrats more than their party. News that former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is considering an independent run for president perceived an undercurrent of interest at the New Hampshire Republican Party's first in the nation town hall on Saturday. NFL announces fine for Patriots W.R. Danny Alderman. New England's Danny Alderman has been fined 23 152 for a blindside block during a punt in the Patriots' playoff victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. Pats hope to revive front fortunes in Denver in AFC Championship game. When the New England Patriots last visited Denver, they brought along a perfect record and talk of a second undefeated season. Clinton draws enthusiast crowds Friday night. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton spent Friday campaigning in New Hampshire and despite trailing rival Bernie Sanders among Granite State voters, she still drew enthusiastic crowd. Officials investigate fire at two alarm family home. Officials in Claremont are investigating an early morning fire at a two-family home. Winter storm makes travel difficult in New Hampshire and beyond. The winter storm is 
turning into nightmare for residents across the East Coast. Bush criticized Republican rival Trump on campaign trail. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush was on the attack Friday night criticizing GOP frontrunner Donald Trump. Cities dig out from deadly East Coast blizzard. What a difference a day makes. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.